Welcome back to Ninjago News TV, guys. This week, I'm going to be sharing my first thoughts on the Season 9 minifigures, every single minifigure that will appear in a set in Season 9. And this is kind of the second part to last week when I shared my thoughts on the Season 9 sets. So this isn't a minifigure review. I'm not going to start reviewing those minifigures until I actually get some of them. But it's more quick thoughts. And by quick, I mean really quick. I'm only going to take a few seconds to talk about each minifigure. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail because there are a lot of them. But anyway, I'm going to get right start. I'm going to get started. So this one right here is Iron Baron. I love this minifigure. His face print looks amazing with one eye taken out and the claw marks. I li love his yellow teeth and his mustache. Top hat looks cool and I really love the robotic arm and the peg leg. So here are more Dragon Keepers. First we have Heavy Metal who is rumored to be the second in command to Iron Baron. I like his minifigure. The weapon he's wielding definitely looks very cool with that orange chain. Torso prints look awesome. I like his face print also with one cybernetic eye. That bandana is cool, and I love the use of the jungle garment and style hat for him. Jet Jack looks okay in my opinion. His mohawk is something that definitely looks very cool, not used before. Face print is okay too. His torso prints are mediocre, and his wings are okay. Daddy No Legs, I love that they're reviving this idea that was last reused and rebooted for fake legs. However, his hair print, his hairstyle, not print, is something that's been used lately in Ninjago with Ultraviolet and Nauticon, and it's kind of getting repetitive by this point. I do like his fake legs, though. Mm. Skullbreaker is also pretty cool. I like his red, how the contrast with the red upper portion, and then the lower portion is black. His torso print is mediocre, again, and he shares the same face print as Muzzle, I believe, which is the next one. Muzzle also looks okay. He's a little more plain than Skullbreaker, and not as good in my opinion. He just, he's one of my less, not least favorite minifigures, I'm sorry, I can't talk today, of the Dragon Keepers. And lastly, and probably least, we have Chew Toy, who looks like a complete doofus. I think that's what they're going for, though. That might be his character in the actual show. I hate his name, however. I do like his little fangs sticking out from his helmet, though. And his face looks ridiculous. His torso print is also very simple, but anyway, moving on. And lastly, we have Arcade, who looks really nice, in my opinion. I love the welder's mask, and I even love the little dragon scratch claw mark on his mask. His torso print is also pretty cool. It kind of gives that mechanical kind of feel. And I like his minifigure. I hope that I can collect it. And now I'm going to look at the Ninja Season 9 minifigures. Kai's minifigure actually looks very different from his Season 8 minifigure. Season 8 minifigure, his suit looked very formal. This one looks more clattered, of course, with him missing a sleeve. And he's also missing, well not missing, but he has some new parts on his torso. Jay's new minifigure just looks tattered. More, like, his torso area is just more cluttered than it was before. There's nothing really much going on, of course, just with the addition of some new elements. Cole's looks the least different out of all of them. Much of the stuff about him remains the same, of course, with him having both sleeveless. His leg print is also extremely similar with a few minor differences. And overall, his, just, his torso just looks more tattered. Zane's looks really good, in my opinion. He has one sleeve missing, I believe. I'm not entirely sure if I'm seeing correctly. But I also like the addition of the buckles and the visible damage, such as those lines in his lower left torso. And then lastly, Lloyd's minifigure, which is also using that same kind of armor. And then, once again, his is a lot like Jay's in the sense that it also just looks more cluttered than his Season 8 variant. And then, of course, we have Nia's minifigure, who I actually do enjoy more than some of the other Season 9 minifigures. She ha I like those little blue lines on her torso, and she still has that Wu Crew symbol, similarly to Lloyd. And then next, we also have Skylar, who does look somewhat different since we've seen her last. She has red gloves. I love those. And I like the contrast with her black armor and her black sleeves. Other than that, she's not much different. And then, of course, the Samurai X minifigure... Unless I'm missing something, please let me know if I am, is entirely the same as 
for season 8 variant. And then we have the quiet one variant of Harumi. I personally think this minifigure looks amazing with that custom hairpiece, and her face just looks awesome too. Her torso prints are also a, a lot like the show with those three belts and the spikes on her torso, and I think this minifigure looks awesome. So then, of course, we have the custom Dragon Masters minifigures. Much of these minifigures have a pilot sort of theme, and I actually like these, so I'm going to go over them individually. I love Kai's minifigure. It has that little kind of red scarf coming down. I like his little belt also. It looks really nice. The red colors look amazing on him. Jay's minifigure is not my favorite out of these, but it looks good too. I like the blue designs with the little bags and stuff, but his isn't as good as Kai's in my opinion. Cole's is also a little on the plain side. It's more simple and it kind of looks like he's wearing overalls, but anyways. Zane's is okay. I like the colors and the blue lines, but other than that, it's just a bunch of little pouches on his shirt. I do like that he's in his human form here, though. And then lastly, we have the Golden Dragon Master, or Wu, in his Dragon Master's form. And I like, I like the look here with the contrast of white and gold here. It looks really nice. And I think his minifigure looks really nice. I couldn't find any actual minifigure pictures of the fully armored golden samurai, so I just had to use this one. But I like this minifigure because the armor looks amazing on Wu. It also has its own printing for the armor, of course, and I think it the armor fits perfectly on this minifigure, and it looks really nice to see. Especially, I love his helmet, too. And lastly, we have a normal Teen Wu variant, which appears in the War Rig or Diesel Knot Assault Vehicle set. But I like it, but I, I wanted to mention something. His torso printing kind of looks like that of a Dragon Keeper, so I wonder if Wu will be going undercover in Season 9. Anyway, his hairpiece looks really cool. And his face printing, I, I personally don't like the way his face printing looks, like in, in the actual show, but it looks good on this minifigure, let's say. Anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe. I forgot to mention, but I think the villain review series is coming to an end. There are many more topics I could talk about if I wanted to, but it's just getting repetitive now. And I want to talk about other things also. So we'll be starting new stuff like ranking the ninja and all vehicles and stuff. Whatever, if you guys have suggestions, please feel free to list them in the comments below. Anyway guys, thank you for watching and I will see you next time.